Hello class, this is week seven of the semester, the rundown. We've got a lot to uh, get to this week as far as your research goes. Um, this is not going to be a very long video, but you should definitely make sure to watch the other video where I get into some detail about the argumentative essay format. I repeat some of what I say in that video here, but I just wanted to re-emphasize these points in multiple places because this is an essay that does have a format and there are specific things that I want you to do in some of your paragraphs. Okay, so the focus this week should turn from researching to start drafting and thinking about how to connect your research to an argument. Okay, you've had weeks five and six to kind of work on your research and to start to get that done. You should continue to do that in week seven with some research, but now is the point when you should start thinking about drafting as well at some point in week seven. There are two assignments that are directly connected to the research. There are two annotated summaries that are due on Sunday. There's no discussion board. There is no journal entry. There are no assigned readings. Okay, but the assumption is that you are reading and researching on your own. Part of what I hope you will do with this extra time is to make a Skype or Discord appointment with me for this week, okay? And if you are comfortable and willing, please also uh, join the Discord, okay? So, again, I wanted to highlight some of the important aspects of the argumentative research format. Make sure to read over the PDF and watch the other video, as I mentioned. Your introduction should be one paragraph, maybe two. Must have a strong thesis in that it is an argument. You also need to have a background paragraph that explains some element of your argument. Again, one paragraph is preferred. You may get into two. If you think you need two introductory paragraphs or two background paragraphs, you will want to discuss that with me first. Multiple body paragraphs with a topic, sentence, evidence, and analysis. Do not begin or end paragraphs with someone else's words. Okay, so there was a video that I posted about topic sentences that you had a chance to view. You should also think about uh, what your topic sentences will look like as they build directly off the thesis statement. Okay, and this point that I make about not ending or beginning paragraphs with someone else's words, make sure you are not ending on quotes. Okay, the counter-argument paragraph is needed in the final draft. It is not needed for the first draft. In fact, I would recommend that you not include a counter-argument in the first draft because I just want you to focus on making sure your argument is as solid as it can be. And your conclusion should not summarize but focus on what some of the bullet points in part two uh, bring up. Do not summarize in your conclusion. You want to follow the directions there. So as I mentioned, there are two assignments due, annotated summaries two and three. Um, as a reminder, each annotated summary should contain the following in this order. You need to have a proper MLA citation of the source. And for any questions, you can use the link that, that is a helpful tool from the Purdue OWL. Uh, an eight to ten sentence summary of whatever the source is, maybe shorter depending on the source a paragraph highlighting the relevance of a given source toward your topic and eventually your argument and how it may specifically connect. You may include a relevant quote or paraphrase to illustrate this point. So each annotated summary needs to be two paragraphs. The first of which is a summary, the second of which is a connection to how this uh, particular piece of research is going to connect to your argument. Okay. Part of my goal with these annotated summaries is to get you thinking about how some of your sources, and granted, you will not be writing annotated summaries for all of them, okay, but you will tell me, um, you know, annotated summary-wise, just how each piece of research will be connected back to uh, your topic. Essentially, you are completing an annotated bibliography over the next five weeks by writing about one source per week. Some of your sources, especially early on, may not play a role in your final research, but it is expected that most of the sources you write about in these annotated summaries will be a part of your Works Cited page. Both of these will have the same due date, Sunday, March the 7th at 11.59 p.m. I'm trying to offer you the maximum amount of time to complete these two annotated summaries and to do your research. 
that's really all I have for this video. Please make sure that you watch the other two videos as soon as po or the other video, I should say, about the argumentative research format as soon as possible. Thanks very much and have a good week.